Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, Old Faithful was almost a half an hour going off late. In fact, some of the people um, up and left got kind of tired of waiting for it to go off. Its last eruption um, was what they call a short. It's currently um, 1251 Central Daylight Time. We would make it 11.51 there at the park and it was supposed to go off at 12.27 we'll see how long it's um, going to erupt how long is what they consider at least two minutes and if the eruption is less than two minutes then it's considered a short it's currently 45 degrees there at the park with clear skies I guess they got a little bit of snow yesterday um, the high today is uh, going to be only 55 degrees. And I was looking at all these people. You know, there was an article today in NBC News about um, the uh, Sturgis gathering uh, that they had there last month. And how, oh, thousands of people came down with the virus being in close proximity during that week-long event the motorcycle rally and you look at the people here they are definitely not social distancing so how many people are going to view old faithful coming in contact with others and you know other locations at the park walking on the boardwalk and coming down with the coronavirus yeah this would definitely be a short a lot of steam well, that's because, you know, it's only 45 degrees there, and you can see that people are well bundled up. I got some pictures sent to me of different mud pots and geysers, and, yeah, it looks like uh, many of them are drying up. Oh, we got a little shaker going on. Is it an earthquake, or did a bird land on top of the camera? We'll have to check the uh, monitor. There was one earthquake that was significant that they did not report. I don't know why. I checked across um, there in Stanley, Idaho, and around the world. There was no P wave on it, um, but they did not report this earthquake. And I'll show it to you in a minute after we watch what goes on here with old people. Look at that. People got tired of watching and they're already leaving look at that yeah like i said it was almost a half an hour late which is unheard of you know they do have plus or minus for the eruption to go off um, by about 10 minutes and like i said this was almost 30 minutes late which is unusual Anyways, let me show you that other report, unless you want to watch it somewhere. You really can't see the water because of the steam, because it's so cold there. You know, in the past years where I've watched Old Faithful go off, um, the water, it was so great. And with the wind, the water actually got the people on this boardwalk over here wet, drenched. Yeah, see, it's done. Yeah, they got drenched from... But that was years ago, before things changed there at Old Faithful, before the hydrothermal system changed. As you recall, most of the activity has been at uh, West Thumb. This is the earthquake that I'm talking about that is not being reported, and it was across three different monitors, which I'll show you. Let's look at the uh, P wave first, or the wave of the earthquake, I should say, not the P wave. Um, maybe a P wave, hard to tell. Uh, 20, maybe 24 universal time. This monitor here at the top is West Thumb. This one in the middle is Madison River. And then this one would be by the fishing bridge um, for the Yellowstone Lake. And it's got a very small P wave on it, very small. So we got Stanley, Idaho, um, 2109. 
23, but see, 1755, absolutely nothing, 2.4 at 1755. What's this one here we got? A 2.4. As I said, West Thumb, um, most of the activity is showing up by Grant. And over here at the top would be the fishing bridge. And now that's a borehole. It's a very deep well. The monitor there for the lake. This here is what they classify as a caldera. Um, this erupted um, 162 to 150,000 years ago, which created this extension of Yellowstone Lake. All right, so here we have Ear Spring. This is uh, some of the images that were recently sent to me. Here we have uh, one of the trails um, with damage, a lot of damage, and they got cones out. Another one of the springs. Another view. Now this is the Geyser Basin. Hurricane Vent. Uh, porcelain Springs, it says. Yeah, look how dry this is. These are normally pools. You can tell by the rock. Pools of hot water, um, which are dried up. Look at that. Constant geyser. Well, it don't look very constant there, does it? Um, I can't really read it. White, let's make it bigger. What spring would this be? Whirlic Geyser. Yeah, look how dry that is. Let's see. Do I have some more? Pinwheel Geyser. And this is when they were moving, um, doing repairs for the boardwalk. Um, I believe this these images here are from last year. Okay, here's another image that was recently sent to me. This was within the last two weeks. And let me, look at that. I don't know if that was a driveway or not, but look how dry everything is. No water in these pools. Now, these images were sent to me by um, Gabrielle. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name wrong. Oh, that's not his. Now, Tony sent me this image. I believe this is at Mammoth Vault. And this was two years ago. Now, this was taken, this video, on the 18th of last month that was sent to me and it looks like the uh, new spring that's along that boardwalk there here we have one of the uh, the pools let me start it over that he sent me to the mud pots one of the mud pots but you can see here how it's all dried up see in the back there how it's all dried up And another video that he sent me of one of the mud pots. And this probably too was from August 18th of this year. So here we have the tilt meter from a borehole there at Norris Junctions. They have two uh, monitors. The top measures the direction of north. This measures east. And yeah, it's, it's showing the, um, the same activity as what it did with my last video that I did. Um, each dot here on the disk would be an earthquake that causes uplift. And then the last 30 days. Um, see that dip there? 
I believe that was my last video or close to one of my last videos. Um, has it been a week since I've done one for Yellowstone? And it's doing it again. Here we have the monitor for Panther. They shut it down sometime between the 3rd and the 4th. Looks like they were resetting it. And they probably broke the machine. Anyways, this is all we got. And basically nothing. Absolutely nothing for the last week for what's going on there. And this is close to Mammoth Vault. Here we have the borehole for Grant. Again, this is on the side of West Thumb. And it's showing the same activity that it was showing in my last report. And each dot would be an earthquake in the last week. One week alone. But if you go to their website, they're saying there's only been 25 earthquakes in this area in the last week. And I'll show you, I got it set for seven days, all magnitudes. So if you want to pause this video and count all the dots, each one being earthquake, and some of them are so many, it's just kind of a blob, um, be my guest. But there's definitely more than 25 earthquakes in the last week. Okay, so in the last 30 days, and look how Grant here, taking that swoop, Yeah, this is the last 30 days. Again, Grant is down over here. This is the area where they put the new monitor in when supposedly the borehole monitor stopped working. I mean, how much more proof does any person need that they're not reporting the earthquakes? We got from 9-1 to 9-8. Yeah. All right, here we have the monitor for Yellowstone Lake. Again, that's up by the fishing bridge. It's a borehole, a very deep well, somewhere around 500 feet. Um, it's been drilled down, and the instrument's put down there in the bottom of it. Um, top is north, bottom is east. Again, it, it too is showing that uplift. All the earthquakes for the last seven days, try and count them when it's just one thick line. Then for the last... 30 days will come down here and they've changed the setting to 10 micro radians to track the direction of the magma flow madison river top is north for the last seven days bottom is east and yeah there's definitely more earthquakes than what they're reporting and we'll come down to the last 30 days Yeah, that's a lot of earthquakes there in the Madison River. Yeah, so I don't know how they missed this earthquake. It's got a very short P wave on it. Stanley, Idaho, and they forgot to report it. I don't know. You can see, too, here's the date from 8 9 20 to 9 8 20. So that's a month's worth of earthquakes. And then this one here would be one week's worth of earthquakes. Another monitor for Norris Junction. This is for the last week. Seven days raw, it says. Top is north, bottom is east. And you look at the jump it took between the 6th and the 7th. It's been going up. All the earthquakes for the last week. There's the date. And then the last 30 days. Look how it's rising. Here's a current image from their live webcam. Look at how dark gray that steam is that's coming up from the, the basin there. Yeah, I want to zoom out. You know, at least I caught part of it, right? And then we got the tree die off that I've reported. Yeah, look at that. And remember, there's pockets of magma that is only 600 feet under where people are walking. Now that's pockets. That's not complete melt. It's pockets of melt. And not all rock melts at the same temperature. That was the last report that I got. And um, yeah, look at these people. They're definitely not social distancing themselves. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. 
I'm going to pull this over a little bit so you can see these other views of the trees. Um, please stay safe. And thank you for watching. God bless y'all.